Welcome back to the channel, everyone. In today's video, we're diving deep into one of the oldest, most respected, and most iconic Linux distributions ever created, Slackware Linux. If you've ever wondered what a truly traditional Unix-like Linux experience feels like without layers of abstraction, without unnecessary automation, and without tools making decisions on your behalf then Slackware is a name you absolutely need to know. It's a distribution built on simplicity, stability, and user control. Many modern distros try to do the thinking for you. Slackware expects you to understand your system, configure intentionally, and learn by doing. And honestly, that's a big part of its charm. In this video, We'll explore Slackware through three key topics, its history and philosophy, what makes it unique compared to other Linux distributions, and who Slackware is actually meant for. Whether you're a beginner curious about classic Linux, an advanced user seeking stability, or just someone who loves the craft of computing, Slackware has something special to offer. So sit back, grab a coffee, and let's dive into the world of a distro that has stood the test of time for more than 30 years. Slackware was created in 1993 by Patrick Volkerding, making it the oldest actively maintained Linux distribution still in existence. It began as a polished version of the early SLS Linux system, but quickly grew into its own unique project with a clear philosophy, keep things simple, stable, and traditional. Slackware doesn't follow trends or modern shortcuts. Instead, it stays firmly grounded in the classic Unix principles text-based configuration, transparent system design, and minimal patching. Everything is as close to upstream as possible. This philosophy has earned Slackware tremendous respect within the Linux community. It's the distro that taught generations of users how Linux actually works behind the scenes. While many distributions introduced automated package dependency resolution, graphical configuration tools, and heavy customization layers, Slackware stayed true to its roots. Vokading's goal has always been to provide a system that is predictable, reliable, and easy to understand as long as you're willing to learn. Despite its age, Slackware continues to evolve thoughtfully. Its releases are infrequent but incredibly stable, reflecting careful testing rather than rushing new features. This deliberate approach makes Slackware a perfect example of if it isn't broken, don't fix it. Its philosophy remains timeless. Slackware stands out because it refuses to complicate things unnecessarily. It doesn't use systemed. Instead, it keeps traditional BSD style in its scripts. It doesn't force dependency resolution through automated tools you manage packages consciously, ensuring full control over your system. Many users find this refreshing compared to modern distros that hide complexity under layers of automation. One of Slackware's biggest strengths is stability. Because packages are kept close to upstream, software behaves exactly as its developers intended. There are no distro-specific modifications or quirks. This makes Slackware incredibly reliable for servers, workstations, and long-term installations. Users often comment that Slackware systems can run for years without needing major adjustments. Another unique feature is slackbuilds.org, a community-driven repository of build scripts that let you compile software cleanly and consistently. Instead of binary repositories filled with patches, Slack builds give you transparent control over what's installed on your system. The process may take more steps, but the result is a system you fully understand. Slackware also has a surprisingly cohesive feel. Because it avoids experimental changes, every component fits together in a natural, predictable way. It feels like a handcrafted Linux distro built with care and attention to detail. Slackware is not for everyone, and that's part of what makes it special. It's ideal for users who value control, transparency, and learning. If you want to truly understand Linux how boot scripts work, 
how packages are built, how services start, and how configuration files interact. Slackware provides the perfect environment. Every step is intentional, and nothing is hidden from you. For advanced users, Slackware provides unmatched stability and consistency. It's excellent for building custom environments, running servers, or maintaining long-term systems where reliability matters more than bleeding-edge features. Many administrators appreciate that Slackware doesn't change its structure frequently. Skills learned today will still apply years later. If you're a beginner, Slackware can be a challenge, but not an impossible one. In fact, many people say Slackware transformed them from casual Linux users into capable system administrators. The learning curve is real, but the reward is deeper knowledge. Slackware is also great for people who dislike unnecessary bloat or forced decisions. If you prefer manual configuration, text files and full ownership of your machine, you'll feel at home here. It's a distro for thinkers, tinkerers, and users who appreciate computing as a craft. And that wraps up our deep dive into Slackware Linux, one of the most legendary and influential distributions ever created. Whether you admire its simplicity, its stability, its philosophy, or its unapologetically classic approach, Slackware remains a crucial part of the Linux world. It doesn't try to be everything to everyone. Instead, it stays focused on doing one thing exceptionally well providing a clean, reliable, and transparent Linux system for users who truly want to understand their operating environment. If you've never tried Slackware before, maybe this video inspires you to give it a shot. It may feel different from the mainstream distros you're used to, but that difference is exactly what many people love about it. Slackware teaches you, challenges you, and rewards you with a level of control and insight that few other systems provide. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful or interesting, hit the like button, subscribe for more deep dive Linux content, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Are you a Slackware user? Have you tried it before? Or are you thinking about installing it for the first time? I'd love to hear your experiences. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep hacking.